The first thing you need to do before you integrity test a filter is to make sure it's fully wetted. And the best way to make sure it's fully wetted is to follow the instructions in our technical publications. We have two of these for integrity testing filters. One is for hydrophilic filters and one is for hydrophobic filters. And this filter has been fully wetted according to these instructions. The other point to note before you integrity test a filter is if it's a used filter, you must wash off the customer's product because if the filter is contaminated with the customer's product, it could produce a false failure. This filter is fully wetted, so we're now going to take it across to the integrity test station and carry out an integrity test. The equipment that we need to do the integrity test is relatively simple. All we need is a housing, and inside this housing is the filter that we wetted earlier on. The inlet to the housing needs to be blanked off, and we need a connection at the top to enable us to connect a compressed air supply. We need a, need a controllable compressed air supply, and on the outlet from the filter, uh, we need a tube, and we're going to insert that tube into an inverted measuring cylinder, which is full of water, which will allow us to measure the flow. So the first thing we need to do is, con is to connect our compressed air supply to the upstream side of the filter. And we can do that quite simply using these scouting connections. We then need to increase the compressed air supply. And the pressure that we need, we can find from our product data sheet or from the product validation guide. Inside here we have a 0.2 micron super poor VPB filter. And according to our data sheet, the test pressure for this filter is 2.41 bar. So we need to increase the pressure to 2.41 bar. And we have a pressure gauge on the top so we can verify that we have 2.41 bar. Once we have 2.41 bar, we can then take this tube and we can insert it into this inverted measuring cylinder which is full of water and air will flow into that, it will displace the water and we can measure the flow. To fill the measuring cylinder, you simply submerge the measuring cylinder under water until it's full, invert the measuring cylinder whilst keeping the end under the water and then simply clamp it into the system and there you have your measuring cylinder full of water to do the measurement. We now need to measure the flow. If we go back to our data sheet we can see the maximum flow for this filter is 30 mils per minute. So if we insert our tube from the outlet of the housing inside this inverted measuring cylinder which is full of water and we let it settle down for a minute we can then measure the flow. So we start in the stop clock and we can watch the air displace the water and therefore measure the flow. Come up to 30 seconds now, and we see at 30 seconds it's about 9 mils, and therefore that equates to 18 mils in a minute, and therefore this filter has passed the integrity test. So you can see from this, this is a relatively simple way that you can carry out an integrity test and assure the customer that the filter is good.